Hey everybody, Rebels of Cloud9. Uh, today I've got an inbox review. This is one I've been waiting for for a very long time. All year, it finally came out. They kept pushing back the release date, and you guys all know what it is. It is the B5N Nakajima Kate. This was one of the uh, torpedo and bombers Japan had during World War II, and as you can see here, it was one of the participants in the Battle of Pearl Harbor. Now, what was kind of weird is um, I remember for about a week, Airfix said that the, this was last December. They said that they were going to release all the kits that were coming out for 2015. And I remember crossing my fingers, desperately hoping that the Val was going to be one of there, because theirs is very, very old and ancient. And instead, we get the other one. So I'm pretty excited about this. So I finally got one. Let's take a look inside this kit. I haven't even opened it yet. Okay. Oh, these Airfix boxes are so tight. That's what she said. Oh, shut up. I always had a friend that did that. Okay. Wow. We are greeted to Airfix's typical blue plastic, the blue gray. And everything is in just the top box. Okay, everything's in one bag. So I'm going to put this over there. And let's open this up. Unreal. Uh, Rob at Basic Modeling was nice enough to send me the Airfix magazine where they built this one. And um, it was great to read. Thank you again, Rob. But it didn't help because I just really wanted the kit even more. <laughs> and now I finally got it. And I have to wait just a little while before I can build it. Oh man, I don't know why Airfix doesn't do more Japanese kits. They gotta do another Zero and a couple other planes. A Betty Bomber would be amazing. Wow. Look at this interior detail. The ribs, you got all the gun cans sitting there. More side rib detail. It looks excellent. Uh, we have lowered flaps and raised flaps. That's awesome. And ailerons there. In the tail. Recessed detail all around. It just looks spectacular. And yeah, this was very impressive to me. So this is the top of the wings. This really impressed me. This is the whole tub of the cockpit section there so look at this we got like the throttle controls all in here we've got you know some floor detail this is where the uh, pedals would go uh, this looks like a compass or something in the back I have to do some more research on it but look at that detail It's absolutely spectacular beautiful 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 oh even better check it out Oh no. One guy's. Ah, oh, darn it. They didn't do it. You get three pilots. Or a pilot and two crew figures. They are British. And this guy, his face is being eaten away. So. Poor guy's got, like. I don't know, he got shot in the face or something. Poor guy. Um, so here we have some of the gun detail, we've got some of the seats over here, landing gear, there's a nice big drop bomb in the middle, big boom, and yes, you can pose the wings folded or opened, so you get some nice interior detail for those sections. Let's take a look at that, actually. Okay, very nice, very, very nice. So the wings are, are pretty sturdy here, and this is where you cut them out, so you cut down this line here. And then look at this nice little section here for you to put these um, these ribs inside. Awesome. That is really, really, really clever. I love it. Uh, here we have some more interior detail. We have the torpedo, which I think is the one I'm going to use. I kind of like the big fat torpedo. I'll know more when I get there. So here we've got the pedals. Here we've got some oxygen tanks. This looks like another seat. And, oh cool, this is the little propellers for the tail of the torpedo. Ah, uh, that is excellent detail. 
I've got a bigger bomb, some mini bombs, and just in general some more detail. I believe this is the scope that they look down through if you know if you remember in Tora 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 they look down this kind of scope down at the bottom of the plane. I'm pretty sure that's what this is and then this would be a control panel right there. Really really cool. Alright, sorry about that guys, I had to go do something really quick. So the next sprue that we get is pretty awesome here as well. It's mostly the cowling section. So we do get a really nice cowl. Um, one piece. No flash seam lines on it anywhere. Excellent. Much better than the Zero. So obviously I think they learned something from it. And uh, again, it's just much better. Engine is really, really detailed. So we've got quite a bit of stuff on it. We've got the exhaust, exhaust stacks, exhaust stocks. Um, yeah, we've got the exhaust stacks there. They look great. And uh, again, it's just really nice detail. And what's really cool is open or closed um, cowling there. So I quite like that as an option. Um, let's take a look at the clear parts here. All of our windows and whatnot. So I'm quite impressed with what I'm seeing so far about these windows. They are very, very clear. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, like, look at this. You can you can read everything through them. That is excellent detail. Um, they're a bit thin. So uh, be a bit careful when you're handling them. That's all I can say, but uh, don't worry about it. I think they're going to be fine. So this is really interesting here. Um, you get three canopies here. We get this one where they're all closed. Um, we get this one here where the back is open. Just there on the back. And then we get this one here in sections where it's mostly closed up here. And I think this one goes on the bottom and these two go on the sides. So... That's just really nice to, to have three options for the windows. You don't usually see something like that. And let's take a look at the instructions. Okay, I really like the new these newer Airfix instructions. They're really fantastic. So we have to drill out the holes for which one we want to build. And, <laughs> interesting, I've never started with the wings before, at least not that I can remember. What a big book. Now this is what I really like that Airfix is doing lately, is they are labeling parts in red as to where they go and such, what you're doing with them. Um, the detail in here is, is absolutely spectacular. Absolutely gorgeous layout. Easy, very easy to read. I want to see if they do this again with the pilots. Yep, they do. They put all those silly faces on them. I know it's upside down, but they. I, I've heard that these are the people who worked on the model. That for some reason they they you know they Photoshop their faces onto it. It's just I don't get it. But if it makes them happy, go for it. Um, absolutely stunning. Shows you how to build the wings folded. And then here we have, uh, from the carrier Shokaku, Pearl Harbor, 1941. So, this is the green squiggle camouflage. So we get this first option here. Looks really cool. I've never really been a big fan of their um, paints, Humbrol paints for Japanese colors, but they're very close. They've, I, I find them to be very close. They're just a bit too flat for my liking. So this is Kotutai, October um, 1944. I believe that is Squadron. So this, I kind of like this one a bit more as far as colors go. 
Uh, Mayor brush can't quite get the detail of this one yet. I need a new airbrush. But this looks really excellent. So, really easy to read all those. Um, let's take a look at the decals. Cartograph decals. Big plus. Uh, they still have that dull red, not that nice bright red. I was kind of hoping maybe they were going to do that, but again, the reason why they do that is so that the, the, the decals colors, they, they try and match the colors with their um, paints. So if you were to make a mistake, you just add a little bit of Humbro red on there. Um, that's what I've heard at least. Again, I haven't actually tested that out myself, but because... Um, they're, they're, they're pretty accurate with most of their stuff, but then they try and do this, and it makes sense. Really, really does make sense, because again, make a little error, you just do a little touch-up with some Humbrol paint. So lots of stencils on there. I love the instrument panels at the top there. They look great, and um, yeah, this is just fantastic. So I don't find a single fault with anything in this kit. Uh, seriously, I, you know, looking through it, everything is, 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 is equal to or better than I imagined or was led to believe. It's just, everything's that good out of the gate. So I'm going to go and put this away here. And, um, yeah, I'm going to put this under my pillow tonight so I can have sweet dreams about finally owning the the B5N so excited to finally get this kit guys it's it's been on my list like I've said finally the wait is over now I have to get some kits out of the way so I can start building this one but definitely you're gonna see this one definitely coming soon so um, I know there's some people that want to follow along with my builds and stuff um, so if you're one of those people that bought this kit recently and you want to follow what I'm doing with it um, yeah, be prepared. I'm gonna, I am definitely gonna do this one soon. I have made that promise before and it is coming. So, is it a buy? Yes, totally, totally worth it. I paid more than I wanted to because of the bad Canadian dollar, but that's about it. I'm really, really glad I had it. Have it. I, st I, ha I had it. It's gone. No, you left it under your pillow because you were dreaming about it all night. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ah, I found it. Okay. So, see you guys later, and be on the lookout for more inbox reviews, more builds. I hope you guys are having fun building. Um, let me know what you guys think of this kit. Is it one that you're going to get? I'd love to know. And I'd love to see your builds of it as well, because I'm so excited about it. I just got to see more. Take care, guys. Rebels of Cloud 9, signing out.